Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Brother, welcome you to the First Baptist Church of Washington Hills in Chattanooga, Tennessee. This is a day that the Lord has made. We're going to be glad to rejoice in it. Amen. Welcome you to our morning worship service, and this time we're going to have a devotion, devotion of prayer, where we have the scripture, songs, and the prayer. Amen.
loves us. All the time. Yes, sir. I'd like to say this morning, uh, nobody haven't heard this this morning. I love you. Amen. Uh, I love you. Amen. Pastor, I love you. Amen. Sister Bud, love you. Sister Sheila, Sister Karen. Amen. Sister Bob, Sister, I love you. Yeah, amen. amen. Love you, love you, love you. Yes, God sir. is good. Amen. Mary, I love you. Love you, love you. Amen. Moses, love you. Yes, sir. What? Love you. Amen. God is good, y'all. Yes, sir. Let's heal. Everybody, pipe in. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we come in the morning yes, Lord. to say thank you. Thank you, sir. Always saying thank you because you loved us. Yes, you have. Before we even loved ourselves. Amen. Huh? Lord, we come this morning to say, we praise and worship your holy name yes, this morning. Lord. We want to thank you for waking us up this morning yes, in our right mind. Lord, we want to say thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, this morning. Yes, Lord, we want to thank you for all that you do for us all year long. Every day should be yes, like Christmas. Huh? Every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Because God is just that good. Yes, sir. So, Lord, we want to thank you for yes. our families this year, our, our friends. Lord, we pray that somebody got saved. Yes. Somebody have got a better relationship with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, we thank you this morning for food on our table, yes, clothes Lord. on our back shoes. On thank our you, table, Lord. Thank on you. Our head, money yes. in our pocket, money in the yes, bank. Lord. Lord, we thank you this morning. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. We are truly praying for those that that's going without today. Uh -huh. Lord, we pray that you show up and show up. Please, please. For somebody that's in need today. Uh -huh. Lord, we pray that you stop by and yes, uh -huh. listen to Shelter uh -huh. downtown. Yes. And, yes. and just yes. lavish them with your love, Lord. Uh -huh. Send your people by that they may know that you are God and you're still loving them right where they are. Oh Lord, thank you this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor. Mm -hmm. We thank you for the pastor's wife. Lord, we thank you. Yes. And we pray that you continue to bless them. Yes. Lord, this morning we truly thank you for his brother Kevin and brother Sister Sheila for all they do right here at First Baptist yes. Park. Yes. So Lord, we pray that you bless them today. Uh -huh. Please, Lord, we pray that you just bless all around. Today. Please, Lord. Lord, somebody's crying out this morning. Somebody's sick this morning. Lord, somebody's in the jailhouse this morning crying out. Somebody needs you this morning, Lord. Somebody's in the nursing home. They're crying out. Somebody's sitting at home and they're crying out, Lord. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord. Please. Lord, Lord, Lord. We're praying for the sick and shutting in. Right here at First Baptist of Washington. Yes. Not just First Baptist of Washington, all around, Lord, we're praying for the sick and shut in. Yes. And Lord, we just thank you for all that you do and all thank you're going to do. And Lord, we, we praise and worship your holy name. Yes. This morning, we like to say hallelujah, hallelujah. to your holy name. Yes, it's Lord. been so good to be yes. here when we don't deserve it. Yes. You're still good. So yes, Lord. Thank you this morning for thank your you. mercy and your grace. Yes. Yes. In Jesus Christ's name, say amen. Amen. amen.
virtual Sunday school lesson at 8 o'clock a.m. It's on Facebook Live and on YouTube. And then sanctuary services. Sunday school starts at 9.30 a.m. Morning, morning worship starts at 10.30 a.m. And then also streaming on Facebook Live. Join our virtual Bible study each Wednesday at 6 o'clock p.m. on Facebook Live and on YouTube. Amen. Happy birthday to everyone in the month of December. Amen. Amen. Praying for all the sick and shut in and those who have lost a loved one. Amen. Wish you a Merry Christmas to you and your family. And may Christmas bring joy to your heart and happiness to your home. Hope you have a merry and blessed Christmas as we celebrate the birth of our Christ in this Amen. world. Amen. Amen.
in God's house. Amen, amen. A prayer just one more time. Yes, sir. And while many are preparing for the Christmas celebration, I'm truly praying and hoping that your celebration, those that are viewing us by YouTube and Facebook, I'm praying and hoping that your celebration will bring me great joy. Amen. To all of your loved ones. Amen. We want to ask that you continue to lift up our sick and shut in. Yes. Amen. Brother Sean, I visited with him on yesterday. Amen. He's coming along well. He's, amen. He's thinking to be there a couple of more days before they dismiss him and let him come home. Amen. But we thank God for his prayers. Amen. amen. Prayers of the righteous certainly avail us much. Amen. 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 Not only for him, but all of our sick and shut in, amen, around the world, and especially those that are part of this local church. Amen. Amen. Our message this morning will come out of the book of Luke. I'm going to cover verses 1 through 11. Amen. But I'm only going to read for your hearing uh, in chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. And then we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Amen. Luke chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. Verses 6 and 7. It is a familiar passage of scripture that we strive to read and to cover on our series of sermons leading up to Christmas. Amen. Amen. Verses 6 and 7, you'll find these words. And it was so mm -hmm. that while they, Mary and Joseph, uh -huh. were there in the city of Bethlehem, the day were accomplished that she should be delivered. Right. Verse 7, and she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there were no room for them in the end. Amen. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 Amen. It read, For unto us a child is born. Uh -huh. right. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, yes, the Prince of Peace. Amen. 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 I want to use a, just a simple Christmas subject this morning God's greatest Christmas gift. All right. All right. God's greatest Christmas gift. Uh -huh. Father, we come in the mighty name of Jesus this morning. Thank you so very much for allowing our eyes to spring open to a brand new day. Yes. We lift up all of our sick and shut in, Lord God, around the world, especially from this local facility. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Master, for health and strength. We thank you for food on our table. We yes, thank you, Lord God, for that the reason for the season is Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. And Father, we, we, we do not get so commercialized in the activity that's going on. But we know, Lord God, we got loved ones and children. And Lord, we pray for those who are depressed Amen. this time of year. You would give them comfort. Yes, Let them know it's not about the gift. It's all about Jesus, Amen. the cross. So as we ask, Lord God, as we tell this story, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart would truly be acceptable in our sight. Oh, Lord, you are our Redeemer. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God's greatest Christmas gift. Amen. I know that I can get some help in here this morning. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 They can agree with me that Jesus is the greatest gift Amen. Yes, that's ever been given to yes, sir. humanity. Amen. 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 And we thank God for loving us so much Amen. that he gave us his only yes, begotten uh, son. All right. By the name of Jesus. Yeah. The question, amen, that must be answered this morning is what makes this gift mm -hmm. 
-hmm. for God so great. All right, all right. You see, we know that Jesus died for us mm -hmm. to save us from the penalty of sin. Mm -hmm. And that was the greatest sacrifice all right. ever made by any human being. Amen. Mm -hmm. But what about God's Christmas gift that keeps on giving and right. giving mm -hmm. over and over and over again? You see, my brothers and sisters, some people get so discouraged during this time of year. We often hear of those suffering from seasonal depression. Some even call themselves having holiday blues. And they contemplate and remember the passing of a loved one. And I can understand how their hearts can be heavy when the loved one that they share so many Christmas with mm -hmm. are not there to share right Christmas now. with right. them yes, this year. Uh -huh. If they look back at how they enjoy opening and unwrapping mm -hmm. gifts for their children and yes, look around and their loved one is not there anymore, I can understand Amen. their hearts being heavy during a season like this. Uh, yeah. And then there are others who are financially pressured, mm -hmm. feel as if they cannot, amen, afford to buy their loved ones the things that they are asking them to purchase. Mm -hmm. All kind of things goes on during the Christmas season. But Jesus is the reason for the season. All right, all right. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you try to keep up with the world events, the world system, you'll find yourself being very depressed. All right. Amen. Amen. Marriages have it went on edge because the, the, the loved one or the husband or the wife were able to purchase that big ticket item. All right. All right. Amen. That, that they wanted the loved one to purchase for them. Amen. Again, we gotta understand that. It ain't how much the gift costs. All right, all right. It's what they give from the heart. All right, right. Amen. amen. But I have some good news. I'm on with it. About Christmas. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. About the greatest Christmas gift uh -huh. ever given. Uh -huh. The Christmas gift that our God gives us. Amen. amen. It supplies all of our needs yeah, according to to the riches and glory Amen. Amen. through Christ Jesus. Ah. And it is Christ Jesus that embodies this great gift given to us right. by the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. When we receive and unwrap this Christmas gift that God has given us, we'll find that there is a child born, yes, a son given, uh -huh. whose government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Amen. Counselor, Mighty God, uh -huh. an everlasting Father, uh -huh. yeah. and He is in, indeed the Prince, uh -huh. Prince of Peace. Yes, 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 that is what we get. Mm -hmm. That is what the world gets when they receive God's greatest Christmas gift uh -huh. Uh -huh. to humanity. Amen. And let's, for a moment, all of us begin to unwrap all of these special virtues, uh -huh. virtue that comes into our hearts the moment that we accept Jesus Christ yeah. as our Savior. Yeah. Uh -huh. When we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, we can unwrap the very things, the very virtues mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ uh -huh. himself. Amen. But before we unwrap the gifts, mm -hmm. you've got to put the gifts up under the tree. Come on, man. Come on. So much controversy behind mm -hmm. The tree. We know what the letters say about the tree. Mm -hmm. The tree represents a pagan tree mm -hmm. that had lights on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we took the pagan uh -huh. tree yes, and made it a symbol where gifts go up on the tree. Uh -huh. right. And the greatest of all hung on the tree oh, by the name of Jesus yeah. Christ. In order for us to unwrap this great Christmas gift that was given to humanity, uh -huh. we got to start from the 
beginning. Yeah. In order for the prophecy to come to pass where Jesus will be born in Bethlehem, God had to work some things yes. out in Jerusalem. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Yes, the Spirit of God had to move on the heart of Caesar Augustus. Uh -huh. That he would be taxed, that the world would be taxed. Mm -hmm. And Joseph and Mary being, amen, from that city, yes, uh -huh. had to go back, amen, to Nazareth to pay their taxes. Uh -huh. Because they was from the city of David. Mm -hmm. Verse 6 tells us, amen, that the day was accomplished where she would bring forth her first boom. Yes. Uh -huh. Verse 7 says, Mary wrapped her firstborn son in swatly clothes. All right, all right. And when the announcement was made that the greatest Christmas gift that ever been given was first given to the lowly shepherds watching over their sheep in uh -huh. the and when And when the announcement was made, God didn't leave the announcement just to anybody. He sent his angels from on high. With glory shining all around the shepherds in the field. Amen. And when the glory appeared to the shepherds, the Bible said they were so afraid. Amen. And in order to calm their fears, verse 10 said they came to bring good tidings of great joy to all people that a Savior is born, Christ the Lord. God had to orchestrate taxes to be paid so that they can get Mary right. and Joseph uh -huh. back to Bethlehem yes, sir. Yes, sir. so that the prophecy could be fulfilled. Amen. God is working some things out in our lives. Amen. He put people in our path yeah, right. so that he can fulfill the promises that he has made to you in your life. Amen, somebody. Amen. The very one that you want to hate might be the very one that God sends to you yes, to fulfill the promise made to you. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. You've got to understand that when the angels declare that a Savior is born, amen, they revealed that the prophecy had been fulfilled. All right. Amen. What God promised them to them yes, that a child would be born, a son would be given, amen, that which highlighted the fact that Jesus was a human being. All right. All right. Fully God yes, and fully amen. man. All right. But the question is this. How do all of these attributes mm -hmm. that we discover in Isaiah chapter 9 and 6 benefit us. Mm -hmm. Well, it means mm -hmm. that Jesus was born like every human being. All right. Yeah. So that he might become merciful and a faithful high priest yes, sir. to service humanity in a capacity where he understands how you feel. Amen. Understand the temptation that you go through. All right. Understand who you are as a human being. Right. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 17 and 18, amen, gives us what he says. He says, What for in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be merciful and faithful high right. priest in things pertaining to God to make reconciliation, amen, for them. Moreover, he described Jesus, amen, as our great high priest. All right, all right. Amen, somebody. All right, all right. Understand the capacity of Jesus being our great high priest. All right. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Now Jesus becomes the very one, amen, that we come and pray in the name of. We use Jesus' name, amen, to clarify what name we're coming or approaching God himself. Amen. It is in the name of Jesus, amen, that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. That same name, amen, that Jesus, Jesus Christ, is the one, amen, that
that can save us from our sin. Amen. The Bible says even the enemies of God tremble at the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 But watch this now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus was not only made a human like us to know how you feel. Amen. But he also came to, to reconcile us back to God. Amen. By removing the guilt of sin. Yes, amen. Let me put it this way. Removing the guilt of past sin. All right. From our minds. All right. So many people live, amen, in, a, in, a, in this world, amen, and they feel guilty about what they have done in the past. Amen. amen. Jesus died, amen, on the cross to remove the guilt amen. of sin. Uh -huh. You have to forgive yourself. Amen. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. If Jesus has forgiven you, then you need to forgive yourself. yourself. Amen. 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 But Jesus allowed himself to suffer all kinds of temptation to show us that we too, amen, cannot overcome the threat of temptation. This is according to Hebrews chapter 2, verse 18. Look what Hebrews 2 and 18 says. Amen? When someone received the greatest gift, they have pardoned from their, their sin. Amen. Amen. It becomes, it becomes a, a, a non-factor in our lives. Amen. When a, a person gives their life to Jesus Christ, Amen. And he wiped away, amen, our past sin. Uh -huh. Amen. We don't have to stand before God and give an account of the sin committed in our body. Amen. amen. We stand before him, amen, and have to give an account of the things that we've done in the body. Uh -huh. In other words, those things that you have done, amen, and whether or not it was good or bad, you want to give an account uh -huh. to the Lord for those things. All right. Amen, somebody. Amen. So he reconciled us. Back to God, amen. he wiped away our sin because he was tempted, amen, by the sin himself. And he endured the temptation of sin. So he knows how it feels to be tempted by in every measure of our temptation. Amen. Amen? Amen. Amen, somebody. You see, Jesus' structure, amen, when he came to the world, amen, to save us from the sin of the world, he came and died. For the sins of the world. Amen. But many of us, amen, don't recognize that he died for the sins of the world. We celebrate him because he came into the world, amen, but we don't celebrate him that he died on the cross to take away the sins amen. of the world. Amen. 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 That's all. That's all. Amen. Mm -hmm. Notice what Isaiah says. Isaiah goes a little bit deeper. And he shared with us when we unwrap this greatest gift given to us mm -hmm. by God. All right. Amen. He says, a son is given. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And not only a son, I mean a baby is born, mm -hmm. but a son is given. Uh -huh. He comes in the likeness of a child. All right. Amen. That have been overshadowed by the Holy Ghost and, 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 and a seed planted in Mary. He comes through a nine-month process. And he's born and laid in a manger. Uh -huh. Not only is he laid in a manger, but the Bible says there was no room for him in the end. Yeah. We have a tendency right. to get down, amen, on the on the on the guy who owns the hotel. Mm -hmm. But we gotta understand people was coming from all around. Amen. Uh, amen to pay their taxes. Uh -huh. Mary and Joseph perhaps got there late. And there was no room for them in the hotel. Uh -huh. But God provided a lowly stable Amen. for Jesus yes. to be born. Kind of get a witness. All right. God always make a way out of nowhere. Amen. And he was making a way for Joseph and Mary. All right. So that Jesus could be born in a stable. Yes. Not in the palace, uh -huh. but in a stable. Kind of get a witness. Amen. A son is given. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever to believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He gave his son. Who is this son? Well, he's the, he's the word of God. He's the, he's the Logos. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The word took on flesh. 
Amen. It was the Son of God that took on human flesh so that he would know how it feels to be a human being. Can I hear a witness? Amen. amen. Not only that, amen, that he gave a son, but he also placed, amen, the, the government on his shoulders. Right. Amen, somebody. Right. Not the kind of government that we're accustomed to seeing here. He is separate from the legit, from the from from the government branch of the United States. All right. All right. Jesus holds the executive power. But when he speaks, things happen. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Don't nobody have to take a vote. Uh -huh. When he speaks, yeah. it's done. Yeah. So God has given Jesus Christ supremacy over all things. Yeah. He is King of kings yeah. and Lord of lords. Yeah. His name is Jesus. Yeah. All right. God's Christmas gift that we right. receive from God yes, is not like those gifts that we, we that we get from everybody else. Uh -huh. right. Amen. That grows old yes. and loses value. All right. No, God's greatest gift to humanity, amen, it gets better and better as you begin to unwrap it. Yes, and when you begin to unwrap it, you'll find that he becomes your wonderful counselor. Amen. That's all. Amen, somebody. That's all. A counselor that's not false. Mm -hmm. Amen. A counselor that's perfectly suited for you and I. Mm -hmm. A counselor, amen, that can handle every situation in your life. Mm -hmm. A counselor, amen, that always use practical and prudent, amen, things to, to accomplish the things in our life. Yeah. There's no problem where Jesus have to go and study on, huh? amen, so to able to resolve yes, our problem. All right, he is it. a problem solver. Huh? Yes, For the Bible say, and he in fact is God himself. All right. Can I get a witness? Amen. amen. When, whenever we are in trouble, he is there amen. to help us. He yes, is God. a problem yeah, yeah. Amen. He is our great wonderful counselor. Yes, you can tell him things and he won't tell nobody. Uh -huh. Amen. He knows our ins and out. He knows every hair that's on our head. He knows what tomorrow's going to bring. We don't have to lay down on the couch and spill out our, our intimate secret to him. He already knows what we need. He is our wonderful uh -huh. counselor. Not only is he able to give us the best counseling, yes. he's also able to provide all the source of power we need all to right, overcome all right, all right. any circumstances yes, right. in our life. Yeah. Amen? Amen. The prophet Isaiah said God's greatest, greatest gift, amen, he is a mighty God. Yes. We sing mm -hmm. away in the manger all right. at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. But we got to realize that just he is no baby no more. Amen. But he is a mighty God. All right. He's holy. Mm -hmm. He's infinite. Yeah. And he's sovereign. All right. Amen, somebody. Amen. He's able to step out into nothing Amen. and speak the word up. and something would happen. Amen. He's able to pick us up out the mark and mara clay. Amen. He's able to walk into the hospital, Amen. touch our body, and our body can be healed. He's able, amen, to go into the courtroom, amen, and the judge and say, your case is dismissed. He's able to put food on your table. He's able, amen, to bring things that be not as though they really are. He's able to do all things but fail. He's holy. He's infinite. He's sovereign. Sorry. Amen. He, yes. he sits now on the throne of David, right. rule uh -huh. and super rule yeah. forever and ever and ever. Yeah. He is a mighty God. Yes. Then Isaiah, in chapter 9, verse 6, describes Jesus as an everlasting father. Uh -huh. You see, this term father is not used in a transitional sense uh -huh. as if in relation to the Godhead, mm -hmm. but this, this, this descriptive analogy point to Christ Jesus' holy virtue, All right. which suggests his tenderness, mm -hmm. his sensitivity, his compassionate affection as a father who cares for the church. Amen. 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 He's an everlasting father. All right. You got a word about him walking away. 
Uh-huh. Throwing his hands up. Yeah. He fight for the church. For he is the head of the church. All right. This is what he said to his disciples on the day that he would be captured. Amen. And sentenced to death. He said, I will not drink anymore. Amen. From the fruit of the vine. Until we drink it anew into my father's kingdom. Amen. One day all God's children are going to sit around the marriage table of the Lamb. And we're going to eat from the marriage table of the Lamb. Amen. So now we're going to drink a wine anew. And Jesus to be at the head of the table. Amen. And all of those who have given their life to Jesus Christ will sit around the marriage table of the Lamb. Amen. He become our everlasting Father who cares for yes. us. Yes. Amen. The Bible says our intimate relationship with yes. Jesus becomes so that we can call him Abba. All right. In other words, we don't have to go into a long, drawn out prayer. Yes. Amen. To call on him to help us in time of need. We can just say, Father, I need you. Father, come to my rescue. Father, help me in time of need. For the Bible says he's a very present help in time of trouble. He's an everlasting father. Then lastly, Isaiah described God's greatest a wonderful Christmas gift yeah. to all mankind. He right. is the Prince of Peace. All right. You see, this part of God's gift of humanity can help us truly to live a peaceful life. Amen. Amen. A peaceful life. Amen. Being justified by faith according to Romans 5 and 1. We can have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. You got to understand that how peaceful God means, amen, that we're, we're no more, amen, strangers to God. Amen. We're no more, amen, enemies to God. All right. Amen. We become the family of Jesus amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. To have peace with God means that his wrath shall not fall upon us. Because he has allowed us to have access to the kingdom of God. And that access we have obtained is only through Jesus Christ. Christ. And no separation can separate us from his love that he has for us. Even when we die, it cannot separate us from the love of God. No heights. You can't get high enough to be separate us from the love of God. You can't go so low. Your life can't be so low when you're in the gutters, amen, to be separated from the love of God. Amen. He becomes the Prince of Peace. Amen. Jesus, in the moment that he had with his disciples, and he was sharing with his disciples some of the things that they're going to be up against when you leave, he said, I'll tell you this, so that in me, you will have peace. Mm -hmm. But in this world, you're going to face all kinds of tribulations. Yes, Lord. What do you mean? He said, if, you, if you're in me, yes, amen, somebody. A whole lot of folks in church. Yes. Amen. But a whole lot of folks not in Christ. All right now. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. He said, in me. Yes. Amen. Revelation 3 and 20 says, he said, Yea, I stand at the door of your heart, and I'm knocking. If any man should let me in, he said, I come in, and I sup with you, and you will be with me. Yes. Amen. He said, You are in me in Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. He says you shall have peace. The peace that passes all kinds of understanding. He is the prince of peace. Amen. Prince, this peace is not peace from violence. That's right. Amen. This kind of peace that Jesus is talking about, the peace from, from yourself. Amen. Because a lot of folks got a whole lot of money. Amen. But they don't have peace within themselves. Amen, somebody. When you can lay down that night, amen, and close your eyes and know that everything will be all right. There are some things will come into your life that will disrupt the peace that, that passes all understanding. Sickness can disrupt the peace that passes all understanding. A child, amen, be missing or a child die can disrupt the peace that passes 
all understanding. Yes, but if you lean not to your own understanding, yes. amen, and trust him and acknowledge him every step of the way, that when the world is trying to disrupt, right. God will bring that peace back to your understanding. All right, all right. Amen. amen. You gotta understand that we are part of the prince of peace. You yes. part of us, and we're part of him. Amen, somebody. Sometimes we get down and out because we don't have money in the bank or money in our pocket. Amen. If money brings you peace, you're going to lose a whole lot of money. Amen, somebody. But if Christ Jesus brings you peace, the same rest of peace. Amen. I'll let you know that if I ain't got the two nickels in my pocket, amen, I still can't have joy. for us. 
Amen, somebody. Amen. And I, I can remember, amen, we, we slept in the living room because we lived in a three-room shack. Amen. They call it a shotgun house. Right. You can look at the front door. You can look straight out the back door. We all slept in the, in the, in the living room. Amen. We all slept there. Amen. And, and every moment we'll wake up and see what's in the thing under the tree. And my older brother would say, go back to sleep. It's going to be all right. And about 3 o'clock in the morning, we'll wake up again and look up under the tree. And nothing was under the tree. And we remember Mama say, ain't nothing going to come until you go to sleep. So you got to go to sleep. Amen. And then sooner or later, by and by, we all fell asleep. And when we woke up that morning, there was all kind of gifts up under the tree. Amen. We know that now that God was able to provide for us. Amen. All I wanted for Christmas was a, 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 some Christmas guns. Amen. Amen. The Lone Ranger was my wife. My Amen. Amen. And I'd have lied to them, man. He was, he, was, he was my horse. Amen. And I saw my guns up under the tree, and I was happy that I had guns on the tree. They knew how to, they knew how to obtain things and get things to make us happy. They didn't, they went, they didn't go out of their way, amen, to purchase things, amen, but they provided for us. Amen. Those are the things I remember. Amen. I remember neighbors coming together in the kitchen, amen, on Christmas Eve, and they was all together cooking biscuits and food, amen, and they was just marrying and having having so much fun. And when a neighbor didn't have enough sugar or enough flour, they can come next door and get enough sugar. Amen. Amen. Those was, was a good old day. And then when Christmas morning came, amen, you can look outside. They were, somebody got skates and somebody got bicycles. They were all outside. Amen. With their skates and bicycles. Amen. And when we went to church, Amen. They gave us that brown bag with an orange in it and an apple in it. Amen. And some nuts in it. Some hard candy within it. Amen, somebody. We, we had to say our Christmas recital. Amen. But they were able to give us that bag. And we, we wanted that bag. Amen, somebody. And, and me and my brother was kind of guys that we would hide our bag and go back and get another bag. And we'd go home and count the oranges and apples and the candy. That was in the bag. Amen, somebody. All right. Because those were, the, those were the years, amen, that were so special. We wake up now and we see no kids playing in the streets. They're all locked in their room doing video games. Now, they, amen, somebody. All right. Amen. And we didn't get a, we, we got clothes on Christmas. Amen. They would give us those big old Levi jeans. Amen. We didn't like Levi jeans back then, but. Levi did become a popular team. Now, amen. I don't care what you do, you couldn't tear them things up. Amen. And mama used to buy us those uh, uh, insurance shoes. Amen. amen. Those, those things never wore out. We always try to wear those things out. They never wore out. Amen. But those were for the days. Amen. But to, I come to think about it, I come to realize this. Mama never got a gift. Father never got a gift. They put all of their resources into giving their children a gift. Amen, somebody. Yeah, we made those things in school and brought home, but mama never got a gift that I can remember. Amen. They, the, the parents put all of their resources to make sure that children will be happy on Christmas morning. Amen, somebody. Can I conclude with this? God sent Jesus Christ all right, all right. into this world that you'll be happy and have joy on Christmas morning. Amen. 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 It is the only season. It's the only season. Only time of season where there was a where, wherever there was a war going on mm -hmm. that they were all called a ceasefire. All right. Amen. No one, no one fired a shot. Mm -hmm. No one died mm -hmm. on Christmas morning. Amen. Amen. No banks was holding up because they closed now. Now, I know a whole lot of people try to take snatch your bags and stuff, but seem like peace mm -hmm. to the world. All right, all right. Christmas morning. All right. My brothers and my sisters, I want you to enjoy 
your Christmas morning. Amen. But understand who it is yes, that we celebrate. Amen. Right. It should be a time when you bring your family together mm -hmm. and just thank God for your family. Amen. 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 If all your family is still with you, mm -hmm. thank God for your family. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. The family, the greatest gift that we give to you, your children, gifts that he give to you. You, if you got a maid at home, he, he give it to you. Thank God for what you got. If you can thank him for what you got, he'll open the door so you can receive much, much more. Amen? Amen. 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 Father, we thank you yes, Lord. for being so kind. Yes, we thank you for being a loving God. Yes, a God that loved us so much Amen. that we need, you knew that we would need a Savior. And you sent Jesus Christ to seek and to save those who was lost. We was lost. Couldn't find our way. But a light shines in the distant young. And our eyes bring open. And we realized that we needed someone to save us from ourselves. And we accepted Christ Jesus. He became our hero. He became our savior. He began to save us from ourselves. And save us from the wrath of sin. Lord, we thank you for the message today. We thank you for those who forced their way today. We pray that your blessings will fall fresh on each and every one today. That they will leave you alone. That Jesus is the reason for the season. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 If you're here today and you look for a church home and you have not accepted Christ Jesus as your Savior, this is a good opportunity to give your life. The best gift you can give him is your life. Amen. Give him your life. Amen. Amen. Allow him to come into your heart. If you do that, he'll come in, he'll sup with you, and you will be with him. Amen? Amen. 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 Before you leave,